you know, we all make plans for our lives, uh, whether it's the day-to-day -day things that go on or whether we are looking much forward into the future to family events, to places we'd like to see, to uh, maybe concerts or something we'd like to attend. We all make plans. We focus, uh, sometimes with that comes this focus though of my life, my will. And John chapter 12, where we're reading today, presents us a very different focus uh, that we are encouraged to walk in. Stay tuned. John chapter 12, as we continue through these daily readings of the New Testament, Jesus is, uh, the Greeks have come to him. And then we read there in verse 27, he says this, and this is what st struck me from the passage today. He says this, now my soul is greatly distressed. And what should I say? Father, deliver me from this hour? No. But for this very reason, I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. We see similar sentiments echoed in Matthew chapter 26 as Jesus is in the garden with his disciples and he, he prays these words before the Father. He says, My Father, if possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Now that's in verse 39. Then in 42, he also says of Matthew 26, my father, if this cup cannot be taken away unless I drink it, your will must be done. We see in this passage what? Surrender, don't we? Surrender to the will of the father. And we have, and I'm guilty of this too, this mindset oftentimes that it's my plans, my way, my will. And when those things get interrupted, perhaps we get very distressed. Uh, we experience anxiety. Uh, perhaps we get angered as well. But we are called what? To surrender. Our will is what? The will of the master, isn't it? As, as, as slaves of Christ, as bondservants of Christ, servants of him, our slave, or excuse me, our will is the will of the master. We are to be concerned about what he desires for us, about his mission, about the gospel mission, about living our lives each and every day in a manner that glorifies him. That's our purpose in life after all, isn't it? And my prayer is this, is that when we come to those moments in life, and maybe sometimes it's on a daily basis, once in a while, that we would have this attitude, this mind of Christ that says this, Father, not my will, but yours be done. That we would have such an attitude of surrender as Jesus did, that we would be willing to follow in obedience, even if it is not our plan, trusting that God has our best at heart, and that ultimately he is about his glory. And that is the absolute best place for us to be, is in his will, following those things. I encourage the pastors this week from 1 John chapter 2, verse 6, when it says that we must walk as Jesus walked. Uh, and then I ask this question, how did Jesus walk? How did he walk? He walked in surrender, didn't he? Surrender to the plan that had been established since eternity past, that he would go to the cross and that he would die in order that we, us sinners, might have salvation through his magnificent work on our behalf. And as we live day by day, may our prayer be, not my will, Father, but yours be done. Uh, whether that is in things like our marriages, uh, our, with uh, raising our children, our finances, uh, the day-to-day -day things that we go through, Father, not my will, but yours be done. And even in those difficult moments of life when we don't understand, when we don't have the answers and we have piles and piles of questions, the voice of faith says, not my will, but yours be done. And we trust him. I was listening to a song today that came across my phone that I wanted to share this afternoon with you along those same lines to encourage you and challenge you in this particular mindset. It is, after all, the mindset that we as children of God are called to pick up an attitude of surrender and obedience to him, understanding that, yes, it may cost us greatly here on earth, but you know what? Those costs, as, as Paul says, are nothing in comparison to the glory that is to be revealed to us. And we look forward to that day. And so with me say, 
And may we, may we have this mindset as individuals, as a church. Father, not my will, but yours be done. Stay tuned for this clip. Until next time, friends, God bless. Pray.